everyone, welcome back to the shop. Okay, the decision has been made, and you guys helped make it. What we're going to do is we're going to take a Tiger Moth, a semi-scale Tiger Moth, and we're going to turn it into a semi-scale Stomp SV4. Let's get started. All right, now for those of you that watched the first video uh, in this series on what we're going to do with this plane, um, what we need to do is we need to convert this kind of tail here uh, down to one that fits on a stomp. Um, now, I was trying to do it the quick and easy way, because uh, it's the quick and easy way to do it. Um, I was upstairs on my main computer on my desktop, and uh, got everything up to size and went to print the page. I could print each page on the screen, like do a screen uh, page, um, and print it out that way hoping that it's going to be the proper size. Um, I was going to try that first just to see if everything measured out good because then I can go ahead and just try to print different sections on however I'm going to do it because uh, I don't want to print the whole set of plans out. I, I could print them out in that size but that's going to be a lot of paper. Um, my biggest problem is that my little black ink cartridge because last time I used it was probably six months ago uh, dried up so it doesn't recognize it. So. Um, so I tried doing it in gray uh, through the color and it, it wouldn't accept it that way either. So it's the way the new printers work. So I gotta get some new cartridges. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to go ahead and do it the old school way. Um, as you can see down here, eh, I don't know how well. Yeah, it'll work. That's half of the um, vertical, the horizontal stabilizer. So what I'm gonna do is, and this is where it's gonna get kinda really iffy on these videos because I want everybody to follow along with this one and if you want to watch how I'm going to do this because it's 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 not difficult it's just going to take a little bit of time go ahead and subscribe um, that way you know it'll probably be about once a week or so I'll be putting videos out on this just to show you the progress the plane itself is almost ready to cover um, so as you can see over there I mean once again it, it's it's close to being done it's just the wing tips in the tail section, I've got to go ahead and I've got to change it over because the fuselage is going to stay exactly the same. So it's going to be just a matter of getting this to turn into what's on there. So anyway, um, let me bring you back from time to time and show you how I'm going to do this because I'm going to try to do this with the lights turned off and hopefully the video camera is going to work. I'm going to do it with the lights turned off, but I'm going to have paper taped to my laptop just to see if it's all going to work. So, you know, ho hopefully... You know, cross your fingers. It's going to work. Hopefully. All right. I'm starting to tape a little bit of paper on here. I did a test viewing of it and it looked pretty good. I'm using this corner of the laptop as a square edge just to try to keep everything somewhat in check with how I'm going to do this. And just as long as I do this and get these pieces of paper taped together, we should be good for almost a quarter almost a quarter of it because this is half so this is so we can get half of the horizontal stabilizer half the elevator so I'm, I'm half I'll show you so what we're hoping to do with this is to get half of the uh, horizontal stabilizer just traced out so let's go ahead and turn the lights off and see how well everything looks And I don't know how well you can see it. We'll find out when I'm editing the video. But from my little screen over here, it looks like you're doing pretty good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here. Here's a halfway mark. So I'm going to go ahead and scribe a little line for halfway mark. Now what I want to do is I want to come down and put uh, uh, whatever you want, indicacies, where I can indicate exactly how everything is properly lined up. So this here, which is on the horizontal stabilizer, they're showing a little crossover where this piece of wood would go through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a little cross right here. Because all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this half here for the other side. So it's gonna be four pieces. They're gonna show the horizontal stabilizer and the elevator on one side and then I'm just gonna duplicate it on the other side. It's just by tracing around. So for here, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just gotta be close. So I'm not drawing a full line. I'm just doing dashes for now because I could join these in later on. Because once I put this stuff on the pink foam, uh, I can just go ahead and uh, just sand it down to however I, however I want it to be.
Okay, alright, I've got my little indicators going around and I just kind of sweeped it down around here and I put how the, I want to make some marks in here too, on where things are going to change direction. Just so that way I know when the time comes. Okay, that should be pretty good there. So let's turn the lights back up. Okay, and that's the basic design. This is, like I said, it's kind of it's kind of sketchy going around here, but it doesn't have to be perfect um, because I'm just going to be kind of sanding up to it anyway. I can make these lines a little more definitive later on. This is just enough to get it close. All right, let's get the other side ready to go. And when I'm happy, let's start drawing. Okay, once again, there's my little marker right there. I'm coming over here. Making this little marker again, and then I'm going to do my the points where it's going to change direction. So I can go ahead, and then when the time comes, I can go ahead and redraw these lines, and then we'll see how well everything works once it's uh, once it's been pretty much done. So let me go ahead, and we'll start again. This one uses a wire across from side to side. The other one uses a solid bar. We're going to go ahead and use a piece of. Uh, piano wire back here as well so we're just going to copy this pretty much just the way it is. turn the lights back up okay and there we go again so we'll just kind of really quickly trace these in Okay, now for those of you that are questioning why I'm doing it this way, I'm tracing the outside. Granted, when we make the template for this, it's not going to be to the full length of the outside. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to just pretty much make a little designation on the outside and I'm going to bring it in. So say that I want to have it so that it's, let's just come out and say a half inch thick. Uh, I'm going to move this line in a half inch thick. I'll grab one of my little pencil compasses, put it on the outside, and draw it in. So this very first piece here will probably be cut out of a piece of uh, cardboard. Um, so if you got any old pizza boxes or anything, always hang on to those things. Because even though you're not eating properly, it can be used in the future. Alright, so let's go ahead and get all of this taped together. And hopefully I can do a fairly good job at it. Because I've got my indicator marks. Alright, now because I made my little crosshatch marks, that is what's going to line up one on top of the other one. And it's not all that critical, but let's just make it so there's less work for me to do later on. Okay, a little cross marks should be right about, and because you can't see it, should be right about there. And that ended up nicely, so let's go ahead and let's pin that. Alright, now what I did was I pinned right dead center on those two, uh, those two little crosses that I lined up, so that way if anything you knew it was straight. And then, let me see how close I can get you over here to watch. Okay, so with these two pieces here together, if 
I did the job right, these two points should match up. So we come across and boom, they're matched up. All right, so then what I'll do is I will come in and tape these two pieces of paper together. So that way we know that everything is good. And this little piece over here, um, here's where our little piano wire is going to go, right there. So, so here's our elevator, the H stab on it. Now all of this is going to be brought in. I'm going to put this down on cardboard. And it's probably going to be, I'm going to glue this down to the top of the cardboard. And I'm going to use just regular, it's, it's a super, it's a, it's a kid's glue. It's a washable school glue. And all I need it for is just a stick on the top of this. So when it comes time to trim this out, I'm going to trim this out so it's all the way around the outside. Then, then I'm going to come on in and I'm going to trace around the outside of this however much I want, however thick I want that to be. And I do have so many options. Um... I'd probably like to go at least three eighths around. I'm just going to think about it. It may be a half inch wide, so it may be coming in a half inch, and it'll just be a matter of following the cardboard around the outside. And then I'm going to cut this off. And whatever is left of here, half inch all the way on the inside, that's what I'm going to make the foam template out of so I can add on. But what I'm doing is this is going to be the final outside. Uh, measurements on it not the inside so because we're not building out in we're building in out Okay, so this is done on top. Now it's just a matter of me cutting this out. All right, I went upstairs, uh, took some measurements. Uh, the rear of my Piper Cub was three quarters of an inch uh, for the for the laminations. Three quarters of an inch wide, which is pretty wide. I mean, it is the Cub, and it, you know, it's the Cub was meant to fly for a lifetime, um, and it's it's a rock solid plane. Now the Taylor Craft, I did not build the plane myself, but I did do a complete restoration. You guys haven't seen the video, start watching. That's a year and a half of my life went to the restoration. Um, and it flies great. Um, but on the uh, on the Cub, I, I kind of don't want to go, I don't want to match it on, on the stomp, because I got to try not to call the tiger moth on the stomp. Um, but what I've decided to do is I think I'm going to make it the half inch. So anyway, uh, with it starting out at that size, by the time I get done sanding it, it's going to be pretty, pretty darn near seven sixteenths of an inch. Because we're also going fabric on this, I, I can go a little bit thinner because the fabric itself is a structural member of the wing. It's that's the beauty about fabric and not the mylar plastic. Um, so anyway, what I did was I've got my little compass set up for half inch. So let's go ahead. Let's come on down here. And let's trace it out. Now, I'm not going to trace this out this side because I'm not going to shorten this. This is going to remain the same length. So that way, once I cut it out, um, and, and I'll show you how I'm going to set it up on the, the foam. I'm only making one of these. I'm not making the whole thing. I, I don't need to. I can get away with just one because I did put, see if I can show you. I put markers on it. There's a little dot right in there, circle, then it comes down here where we have the where the angle hits and then down here. 
So I do have markers that I can go ahead and line up so that way um, once I get these two halves put together um, on the foam everything will measure out nicely. So anyway let's go ahead and let's do this so that way this one's ready to get cut down to size. Now what I did do is I came and I sanded down this edge just so it's really smooth all the way around. Oh, and I can see one of my dots is going to get cut off, so I'm going to have to put another one in there. This corner is just giving me a fit here. There we go. Alright, and the reason why I kept tracing up in here, and I wish it was better for you guys to see, um, I'm going to leave this here. And this is just going to be an indicator of how we're going to get everything because this piece here will either be, I'll either laminate this, which I don't think to because of this, this sharp corner. I think I'm going to go ahead and terminate this where it comes straight off the edge. So I'll probably just leave this straight right down here and then this will be my filler and it's just going to either be balsa or I'll probably just do balsa it, it's not too bad of a curve but I'll make that out of some 3 8 balsa or laminate balsa not standing up but flat down and that will also make that balsa stronger too alright so that's enough for stage one that's how fun it gets so um, what I'm going to do is I'll bring you guys back from time to time and uh, I'll probably get this cut out either because it's already it's getting close to nighttime here so either uh, this will get cut out tonight or I may just go ahead and I'll probably just wait until and just throw this off to the side and then when it comes time to uh, cut everything out of uh, um, foam I'll just do it all at the same time that way there's no uh, there's no issues anywhere so I'll see you guys next time I'm down here in the shop and don't forget to subscribe.